It's Thursday, July 4th here in Seoul. I'm Oh jin Ju, and you're watching Korea Now. We start today with the South Korean government admitting to failures in dealing with a North Korean fishing boat that crossed into South Korean waters last month undetected. Last month, a small wooden boat carrying four North Koreans crossed the maritime border with South Korea and traveled all the way to the port of Samcheok, some 130 kilometers south of the border, without being noticed for over two days. The government came under fire for failures in the military surveillance operations and faced suspicions that it had initially tried to cover up the case. Defense Minister Chung kyung do offered an apology again on Wednesday, admitting that there was indeed a grave error in the military security operations that cannot be acceptable in any case. But the government denied accusations that it had tried to cover up the incident. The commander of the South Korean Army's 8th Corps has been removed from his command, holding him accountable for the failure in his operational area. The chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff received a warning, and two other senior military commanders were referred to a disciplinary committee. President Moon Jae-in also reprimanded the deputy director of national security at the presidential office for the security loopholes and not informing the public of the situation accurately when the incident occurred. South Korean rapper and singer Hayes is releasing her new single, We Don't Talk Together, produced by BTS's Suga. According to her label, Studio Blue, the upcoming single will be made available on Sunday, July 7th at 6 p.m. Korea time. Suga is known to have taken part in the song as a producer, composer, and lyricist. Through this project, Hayes is expected to deliver a different style of music from the one she pursued until now. This is not the first time Suga has collaborated with other artists. He had previously worked with Suran, Epikai, and Isora, raising expectations for his capability as a producer. It has been revealed that U.S. President Donald Trump asked President Moon Jae-in whether it would be okay for him to cross the military demarcation line that bisects the two Koreas just minutes before his historic encounter with North Korean leader Kim Jong-un last Sunday. A senior presidential aide shared with reporters the behind-the-scenes story yesterday, saying that President Moon replied that there would be no problem if Trump shakes hands with Kim and cross it holding his hand. According to the official, Chairman Kim also expressed his gratitude to President Moon when he crossed into the South for private talks with President Trump. And those were the top headlines for today. You can always check the full-length articles on our official website. And don't forget to subscribe to Korea Now for your daily news feed.